Welcome back to another episode of Suburban Hunt 365. I am DJ, and today we are actually in uh, at a state park in Iowa. It is Black Hawk State Park shooting range. It's free to the public. Uh, I believe it said it was from uh, 9 to 7. I believe it's what it said uh, with the operating hours. But it's a pretty nice place here. They definitely keep up with it. It's really nice. So I like to take advantage of these whenever I'm on the road, and uh, that's what we're going to do today. So well, today we're going to continue on with our muzzleloader series, and today what we're going to be looking at are the different primers. Now I've got five different primers here. I've got the standard CCI Magnum 209s that we've been using. I have the Winchester 777 primers. I have the Winchester standard 209 primers. And then I have the Chedite 209 primers. And to add one more to the list, I actually found an old box of Remington 157. Uh, and everything I've read so far says that you can use these in, in my muzzleloader. So we're going to try that today. But today's goal is to see the effects of these different primers with 209. So what I've done is I've created a bunch of 70 grain by weight 209 loads. And today what we're going to be running are the 245 grain power belt coppers now mainly it's because i have a bunch of these left over if i want a really good deal so we're going to be using those so it's going to be three shots per primer set again black one 209 is 70 grains and i'm going to be running my corner graph so that way you guys can see the velocities and uh we'll also have a camera down range for how see how the groups do so how, what are the effects on it? Does it affect the velocity? Will it fire? Now I'll show you here in a real quick clip that the Chedites didn't fire. If you didn't catch that video, here's a link to it up above. But the Chedite primers didn't fire that one time. It, it fired two more times after that, but it did have that one time. So that's what sparked that. But real quick, take a glimpse at that. Primer. All right, so that's what kind of started this whole thing. So we're gonna start off with the CCI primers, Magnum 209s, to give us a baseline. This is what we've been using all the way across the other test. So we're gonna use this as our baseline of what works, and then we're gonna move on to the other primers. All right, so now that we've got our baseline with our CCI Magnum 209 primers. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over to the Winchester standard uh, 209 shotgun primers. See how they do. All right, so the Winchester has opened up a little bit. The CCIs were definitely tighter. You can see by the velocities, there's not a whole big change. There was that 1786 one there at the end but we're floating about the same velocity. So curious to see what the pressures are doing between the two. But uh, CCI seems to be a little bit tighter and the Winchester a little bit wider. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move over to the ones that I did have that issue with, the Chedites 209 primers. All right, so the Chedites brought it in a little bit closer. The Winchesters, they did broaden that out a little bit more. So the Chedites, even though I did have that issue back on the other video where this actually did not fire with the Black One 209, with this very small test of three rounds, it didn't have any issues there. Um, so the pressures are more consistent with the CCI according to what we're seeing down range. So we're gonna go ahead and move into the Winchester, pardon me, uh, Winchester muzzle loader only primers. Uh, rumor has it that the black horn 209 is not enough for it, but we're going to test it. Well, that was rather interesting. Now, these things, it's not that they didn't shoot, it's that they shot at a lot less velocities. 
so therefore the pressure is definitely going to be affected but to go from mid 18 low 1800s to mid to somewhat low 1700s and the only thing that changed were the primers that uh, definitely tells me there's a definitely a cooler uh, primer as opposed to the Magnum CCIs or the Winchesters uh, or even the Chidites. So last but certainly not least I found an old box of uh, CCI number 157s. This is the Remington size and I saw them and I read about them and they say they work in lines. So let's give them a shot. Let's see how they do. So next up CCI number 157 Remington size primer. All right, so the 157s worked. Uh, they are a little bit loose in the pocket, but they come out really easy, which is actually kind of nice uh, compared to the, you know, because it's a two and nine pocket. So sometimes when you're even using the muzzle loaders a lot and get those, those can kind of get stuck inside there. With the 157, the second that I broke that shotgun, that primer's already falling out. So, for a speed reloading type deal, the 157s may actually be better um, because your velocities were pretty close to what you were seeing with the CCI Magnums and stuff like that. So, uh, maybe a little bit hotter because that 182 is, or 1882 is kind of hot. But, anyhow, it's getting hot out here. Again, I'm out here in uh, Black Hawk State Park shooting range. Uh, it is northwest of Cedar Falls, Iowa, but it is getting hot and I'm ready to get home. So I'll see you back in the reloading room and we'll dissect what we got going on here. See y'all in Tennessee. All right, guys, made it back to the reloading room back here in Tennessee, home sweet home. We were able to uh, get those primers done. I was very glad to find that place there in Iowa to be able to put those round down range and go ahead and test those for us and kind of see what they landed, how they landed. Uh, as far as groups go, the groups, First up was the CCI Magnum Prime 2 and I primers, followed uh, actually tying with the Chidite primers with a two and three quarter inch group. And then ironically enough, right behind those, the standard Winchester primers and the, uh, the 157 Remington size, both came in at four inches. So we got a tie for first and second and a tie for third and fourth. And then those Winchester uh, 777 muzzleloader onlys, those came in at one and one, or excuse me, four and one eighth of an inch. Uh, so I would definitely be sticking with the CCI primers. I do have a decent amount of those. I've also got a pretty decent amount of the Winchesters, but a four inch group, I'll have to do another ladder test to find out if we can find a powder that would bring those in, which that's the beautiful thing about this loose powder, guys is that once you get a projectile that you like to use, you can do your ladder test to find your powder weight or volume, however you want to do it. But then you can also do the test with the primers. So if you have a particular load that you just want to use, you can play with the primers. You can kind of make it your own, if you will, as long as your rifle likes it. So uh, the only one that I really just don't care for is the Winchester 777s. And the reason is we're talking about velocity at this point. The velocity is 100 feet per second less uh, with the Winchesters, uh, most of the T7s, uh, at 1763 is what the average came in with that. And then with the CCI Magnums and the Chidites, they're around that 1861 mark. So, uh, and they look to 1825, 1855. So even the even the Remington the 157s came in at that 1855, 1860 mark. Uh, and then the standard Winchesters were a little bit slower, 1825. I know it's a lot of information to throw at you guys, but in order for velocity, uh, you have the Chidites, then the CCI Magnums, then the Winchester, no, then the uh, Remington 157s, then the standard Winchester 209, and then obviously last was the Winchester 777. So, is velocity more important? Is pressure more important? What matters to you? And that depends on what load you develop. You can make it yours. 
So you take your rifle, you go out there, you play at the range, and you see what it is that your rifle likes doing, and then run with that. That's the whole reason I'm doing all this testing, is because I want to see what my gun likes. And at this moment, with everything I've done so far, I'm going to keep using the CCI Magnum primers, but I'm also not going to be afraid to use the Jedi primers either. So, if you guys stuck with us out this far, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I hope you guys learned something. I definitely did with mine. And if you can, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. Do us a huge favor. Hit the like in this video, and then comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Have you had problems with other primers? I knew that the Winchester T7s had a rotation. I thought it was for not firing, but given the fact that it's constantly low pressures, it's just not burning it properly. It's not getting all the burn up before we leave. it leaves the barrel. So, again, throw your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Definitely appreciate you guys hanging with us. And until next time, I'm DJ with Suburban Hunt 365. We'll see you on the next one.